Hey guys, so it's Rick and Tammy. He's laying down. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to discuss what's going on with Rick. So, the other day, me and Rick were in this store looking at wood and stuff because we're going to make our own um, racing seats. And um, we were in this store looking at wood, and then all of a sudden, here, let's get back in the story. Okay. That you have to know the first beginning of the story. So 10 years ago, Rick had surgery as for a hernia. Okay, so 10 years ago, Rick had surgery it's for... It's like 11 or 12 years ago. Okay, he had a hernia. He had surgery. Okay, now back to... We went to the store looking for what? I don't think that would matter anyway. Well, yeah, because in the store, your hernia hurt. They yeah. were the surgery area. So what, my knees are all fucked up too? That's what I'm getting to next. So we were I don't in, think it has nothing to do with it. We don't think it has anything to do with his hernia, but that's where it hurt. He dropped to the ground. He was in a lot of pain. So anyways, now we're going to get to his hip and back. For about a year, or a year and a half, two years, you would say? Two years? A year? Yeah, around there. He's been having and hip, and hip and back pain. No, but just hip pain. Hip pain, but you gotta remember he had knee pain, right? He had knee problems. He he actually was supposed to get surgery on his knees and never did. Um, he bitched out on it. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. They wouldn't give me anything. All they did was give me shots. Okay, so he got crow's own shots and shit. So, anyways, yeah, so, I got on both my knees. so he had a hernia. He has knee problems. Okay, so those are two things. Okay, guys. So now we're moving to his hip. So his hip's been hurting for. About a year, non-stop. But I guess you got to think, when your body's starting to hurt like that, and you're working six days a week, non-stop yeah, lifting, before that. before that, yeah. Like, don't play fucking sports, man. <laughs> Whatever. Or if you just stay in one, not like ten of them. Well, yeah, so anyway, so, and you got to think. He, what he does when he works is he's a tire tech, so he's lifting tires, he's changing tires, he's doing all that. Even before that. I get, can I get to the story? So he works six days a week, right? Plus, after, on his one day off, what is he doing? Car shit. So he's, he's overworking his body. No, actually, I have to work, I do car stuff, too. Yeah. Exactly. So he's overworking his body. So, the reason why his knees, hips back all that hurts and is like breaking it's because i'm not a lazy person because he's overworking his body so rick says it happens before because he doesn't want to put blame on work or blame on this blame on that so he's trying to lie and say it was before that in sports it's this and that but he wasn't bitching before this has only been a year and if you put two and two together you fucking realize what it's from anyways it's from exactly I think it's from overworking his body. Like I said, he never takes a day off or even has a break. If you want to be realistic, he's always had, he always has something up his sleeve. And look, guys, he's smoking. So much for your shampax, Rick. Hey, I'm not smoking as much as before. All right. So I haven't had a smoke for over, like over an hour. So anyways, so that's what's going on with Rick. So he's at the point where he can't walk right now without crutches or a cane. And if he walks, he's like in tears. Well, they, told me they recommend using crutches. And I don't yeah. Want to use crutches. And he can't really go in the car with me anymore. Like I drove him to what, like three doctors, and he was bitching the whole way he has pillows in my car because his back and stuff um so right now he's just uh we we think it might be the doctor thinks it might be something on his hip what did they say and uh a cyst on his he hip like rip ligament. yeah or cartilage cartilage or a cyst on his hip and then they think on his back there's a night and what my and his disc is slipped on his back. They think that's what's wrong with him right now. Which it's for all of the above. Tell, he, tell the truth. I think so too. I think the doctor should look more into his hernia where he had surgery because Rick didn't go for follow-ups like he was supposed to because he was when he got out of his surgery he told me he was never going through that shit again. So. She hurts man. Um, yeah he used to pee in like bottles, yeah, <laughs> like filled up big 
like two liter pop yeah, bottles. When you get cut there, like any type of movement, trying to get up, it fucking hurts because yeah. it's trying to like open your wound and shit. Yeah. The way they cut you, like you move like this, mm-hmm. it's like fucking. Yeah, because it. Open. Well. It was in your groin, which if anybody knows about hernias, you know that in most men, hernias are in the groin. Um, so right now, Rick is just laying down. There's a heating pad right there for him, close by if he needs it. We also got some, um, where is all your stuff? Where's that? Where's the rub? We got heat rub for him. Um, it helps for pain. And we also got a lot of medication for him for pain. Not the good stuff, though, guys. I'm just kidding. It's it still works. It's good stuff. <laughs> like, it does get rid of pain. Yeah. Like, most of it. Well, he's on a lot of medication right now. So he's on that, that. And good news. The doctor finally got a hold of us after us harassing them the whole weekend. And whoo. Friday. I called them and left so many messages. Anyways, they got a hold of us. He does get to see them on Wednesday, so that's good news. And hopefully, we'll figure out what's going on with him. Um, I'm panicking a little bit because I need physio, and now I'm finding out he might need physio, and then I need surgery, and now I'm finding out if he needs surgery. Shit, we're both gonna be out of commission, you know. <laughs> so this is bad. Both gonna be grumpy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're not getting very along very well lately. Oh, no. But it's only because you know, like, I have my own issues and problems, right? Like health problems. So it's kind of hard to be a nanny for Rick when I can't even be my own nanny. <laughs> so yeah. Other than that, we're great. What? Everything's great. Peachy. Yeah, that's what I'm Yes, doctor's appointment at 7. Where do you have to go? Hospital. The Niagara Falls Hospital? No. Well, you just said to- Dr. Mena is a doctor that is mainly for broken bones, sport injuries. What kind of? Sports injuries, pretty much. Yeah, so the, he's he's more of that doctor. So I'm. we are trying to work on getting him a family doctor because... I, I back when I have to. Yeah, so we did we did apply for a couple family doctors. So the hospital only wants to check like one thing at a time, so they told me to go to fucking get a family doctor, and I never had one really, so. Because I moved down here, and yeah. I didn't really get a family doctor. Yeah, so we're just hoping to God that this doctor takes him on so he can get more looked at, and yeah. Yeah, so we will let you guys know how Wednesday goes and what they'll do and what he'll get. And then, yeah. So, we'll see. What? Okay. I got to shave. <laughs> yeah, he's so very... Scruffy. You should see how long his hair is. Take your hat off. Yeah, we can't see Look like how fucking... Ha- like, there's a lot of hair. It's <laughs> It is. <laughs> You're just scruffy, man. No, I'm really scruffy. You are... You can tell. He he barely can get up, guys, so give him credit for being scruffy. It's like I literally got... Here, get up. Show them how you walk. Oh, I'm good. He, he, can't, he can't really... He He's a turtle. Yeah. Yeah. And everything hurts, so... I had to push the bed today. Oh, my God. Like, if anybody knows, a king-size bed is fucking heavy. All because his side was vibrating. From a fan. From a fan. Like, it vibrates the whole bed and makes you sick. I don't get sick. I don't know how he would do on a boat. <laughs> I've like been on a boat, sick. like, multiple times when I was younger. <laughs> that thing is different. It's like a big fucking industrial fan. And then the thing's vibrating at my feet. So, like, my whole side vibrates. Yeah. It sucks. Like, I don't know. So, if anybody has a pregnancy pillow <laughs> and want to, like give it to us would be very thoughtful because I think Rick needs a pregnancy get pillow. On that, I'll just get a new one. Okay, get a new pillow. I'll, I'll bug my mom. He needs a pregnancy pillow, guys. Well, the he, pillow I was using to is just like the same thing. It just doesn't wrap you. Like, your yeah, back and stuff. I don't want to be wrapped. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. 
So anyways, guys, so that's our story, and we'll let you know what's going on more Wednesday. And of course, I'll let you know what's going on with my doctor appointments. Well, I have four on the 5th, so... So we'll let you know, but can you believe we're 31 years old and we, we're like 80? I feel like I'm 80. How about you? I <laughs> feel like my whole body's letting go. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, if it's not one thing, it's going to be the next one up, the next one up. It's like, start with like my foot, my knees, my head, my back. Fuck, I don't know. True. Yeah, and I and I had knee surgery already, so I'm actually waiting to get another one. So we'll see how that works out. But I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably have to decline it if he has to get some kind of a surgery. I'm not sure. We'll have to figure it out. Right. I'm gonna make myself a racing bucket seat. That's like a physical seat. So I feel comfortable in it. It'll work. Do you guys want to see the wood that we have for um, our racing seats? I want to make it out of fiberglass and wood. Oh, fiber. Well, it's going to be wood frame and then fiberglass all wrapped around it. Like, nice. Yeah. Instead of just being fiberglass, it's going to be wood. It's going to be a little heavier, but it'll be, like, really fucking strong. And the, it's maple wood. The reason why we're doing this is because the uh, last weekend, was it? Last weekend, we went to uh, Mississauga to go get racing seats because, you know, when you communicate with people online, they tend to not answer your fucking questions or do things their way or whatever. So everything I asked was basically a, here's our address and pop on in. You know, even though Ooh, every time I checked those seats, they came in a they came in a, a pair. Set. Yeah. Every time I look for them, they always came in a set, and then the only time I go buy them, they don't come in a set. Yeah. And they were like for one, it was like the price of two. Yeah. So fuck it. So you either buy just go with the expensive one that are about the same price anyways, or just make my own. So anyways, we drove all the way to Mississauga to be heartbroken and leave without our seats and be lied to and pissed off and it was just hell. Well, I'm going to make like professional one that holds your head from bouncing side to side and shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, seats that cost more than like a couple grand. Yeah, can you believe they want like a thousand five hundred for two NRG seats? Excuse me. Just like six months ago, I was able to get two of them for fucking five hundred dollars. Well, six hundred bucks. Six hundred bucks. Like you fucking ripping me for a pair. Leather. Yeah, and for leather, they were a, a pair, a set. You fucking ripping me off. You people are ripping me off, and I'm sick of it. Stop being so grimy. I get it. You were closed for a month and you need to come up with your fucking rent. But that's not the way to fucking do it. Well, it's because of COVID. They probably can't even get a shit down here. So. Yeah, they can. I, I get shit from China all stuff. the time shipped to me. So yeah, that's know, bullshit. That, that's smaller stuff, though. Still, I still get it to me. I don't know. They're liars. Fucking liars. They just want you to buy it. And you know what? Rick almost fell for it. He fell, almost fell for their trap. No, that I even fell for it. It's just I fucking wanted them. I know. He's like, let's just pay the price. Please. I want to pay the price. I want them. I want them. I want them. I want them. I always been like that. Yeah, and then we got in a huge argument, and then he huffed and puffed all the way home and was pissed off at me. For two days, guys. Two days I had to listen That's to this. Bullshit. Yeah. No, no, no. No. I'll record you next time. Mm. I will. Yeah. And then when he finally had the idea, oh, I shit. was tripping out the whole fucking way. And then he sh had the driving there. idea that he should make them, and I already put that in his head, he should make them, and he told me, what did you say when I said you should make them? It's, it takes a lot of time. Oh, yeah. Plus, I have tons of other shit to do. Yeah. So. But now he's just going to make them, guys. So it worked out. So we're going to call our seats R&T, obviously. See? Rick and Tammy. And if they turn out great, we'll probably sell them for a good price. So we...
Yeah, right. I'm making it by hand, and I'm measuring actually my whole fucking body oh, and yeah. my arms, oh. everything. So here, hold my phone. So I hold it on you, so I can show them your body, <laughs> your measurement. You know. It's down there. I know. I got it. I got. It. I'm just trying to get it. So here's his measurement. Well, the only thing I have to do is measure from my butt to my knee. Yeah. So this is Rick's mini body. <laughs> <laughs> do you see his measurements? Well, the head's from my helmet. Yeah. So that's his measurements. Because the head so, has to be my helmet size. Yes. So that's his measurements that he's got to cut his seats. For his bucket seats, guys. So oh, no, that's just the measurement for my my body to fit in it perfectly. Yes. Yeah, so he already started his seat. Well, not started yet, but and then he has to measure me because the other seat's gonna be measured to my body only. No other bitches in the car. Boom. You're talking like I drive every bitch. <laughs> Well, I don't know. You seem to pull over for people when they're waving. Yeah, and I didn't fucking open. So I and you're pulling people. You're pulling over for people that's waving at you in the beetle. What the fuck? No, man, they're running to the roads. I, I thought like they had an emergency or something. So when I pulled <laughs> over, they just stand there. So I'm like, what the fuck? So then nobody came to the car, so I left. Yeah, yeah. And then the next day, they, they gave they ran to the road and gave you a finger. <laughs> It was not my fault, man. Like, you know what I mean? Someone waving and running, I stop, and then they don't even come to the car, so... Yeah. So, guys, so... Whatever. We are making bucket seats. Eventually. We're not actually doing this yet, because, like I said, Rick can barely move, sit up. He, he hurts a lot. He hurts the most when he's sitting and lying down, right, usually? Certainly. That's how I lay down. Lay down. So... We really can't do much because when you see him work on a car, he's mostly like crouching, bending, all the things that hurt. So we are at a commission, and the only things well, I, I do like little stuff in here that I don't have to lift or yeah, whatever, just stupid shit. Yeah, but but, but like, you're not gonna do it yet till the doctor kind of says gives us a clear thing. Just to give me some good shit. Yeah. We need okay. stronger medication. <laughs> you know, medication is so fucking bad because, you know what I mean, you don't feel the pain, so you think you feel good, so you do all this thing, and then after when it wears off, you're like 20 times more in pain. So that's why the painkillers aren't that great. Oh. Because it hides the pain, and so you think you feel good, so then you do all this shit, and then you hurt yourself. What the fuck, Rick? Are you giving me a pain management fucking class? No, but it's true, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... That's why I don't take it like a lot of it. I, like they want me to take two, I take one until I feel the pain. So I just don't True. Like, do stupid shit. So guys, so I know if I feel good, I'll probably do like do some work. True. Well, so, no, because I'm here and you can't do work while I'm here. No, but you get what I'm, I'm saying, bitch. right? You take your medication, you think you're feeling yeah, good. Yeah, I, I know you what you mean. Fucking hurt yourself. Yeah, I know what you mean. I so. definitely do get it. I know, because the second I got my shot in my knee, I felt good, and then I overworked it, and then like a week or a week or a month later, it was wearing off, because it never lasts, right? Yeah, and then you feel like a hundred times yeah. worse, because you're in, like... Yeah, I get it. I get it. Sorry, well, I want to watch the movie. <laughs> 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 okay, peace out guys, we're done. Uh, Bye.